morning with Fiery here with you, um, sharing some new exciting features and the uh, newest Command Workstation 7.0 release. So I'm not going to go through all the new features, just some highlights of some new features. Um, you can always go to Fiery.com, EFI.com actually, and uh, click on Command Workstation 7.0 and it'll put a list of all the new uh, features that are there. Um, but I just want to highlight some things that I'm really excited about. So first, I want to show you guys um, this new history that we have here. We've always had this little summary of a job, okay? But now we have this little history. And now when you click on a job, looking at that history, it will give you the history up to 100 different actions that has been applied to this job over the history of the job. Um, so at quick glance now, I can look at any job in my queue and look and see all the different things that have happened to this job, whether I've reprinted it, it was processed, when it was created, uh, all the things that I've done to it. And unfortunately, it looks like most of the jobs I have in here doesn't have a lot of activity on it. Um, but there you go. There's one. Look at all the different times I've processed this job on the date and time, the date it was created. So... Um, that's new in 7.0. You now have a history of your jobs um, so you can see all the things that have been done to it. Uh, very helpful in trying to figure out whether it's been printed, whether it's been processed, whether it was finished, reprinted, brought back into the queue, all those good things. So that's feature number one I want to share with you. Um, some other features I think are, are good for customers to know is um, over here uh, in this uh, view of all of our queues and our paper trays and um, sometimes this gets you know this gets a little messy and maybe you don't want to see everything well if you click here now you have the ability to one if you have multiple printers you can reorder the list of your your fiery driven devices in whatever order you want them to show up in this list here um, that's not new that's actually was available a while back but what is new is this now I have the ability to uncheck some items maybe that I don't want to see in those queues, including things like Archive Manager. If I don't want to see the trays or the toners, look what happens. Now it only shows me what I asked to see. So you can now customize these views for each one of your Fiery controllers and you know see the things that you want to see as opposed to seeing everything. So that's pretty cool. That's new in 7.0. Um, one other thing that I wanted to show you real quick um, is uh, easy access to web tools. So if I click here now, web tools is listed right on this menu. I do not have to go into uh, device center and tools and then click on the option that brings me out to web tools. I can just launch web tools right from here. Okay, so just quick little things that we're trying to do to make it easier. Um, probably the biggest thing, um, I'm going to close this, is I always get, I get this question a lot from people about, you know, how come when I go into properties of a job and I'm connected to a particular printer, um, why do I have to see, let me go here, just so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. Why do I have to see um, all of the options that may not be relative to my machine showing in this list okay and it's more um, relevant when you click on finishing so let's say for example you're connected to an engine that um, has a you know three knife trim in it and uh, but it doesn't have a, uh, a glue binder on it you know we used to show every possible feature that was capable and you had to you know um, click on it and it was either grayed out or it wasn't grayed out, but even if it wasn't connected, we still showed it in this list. With 7.0, that is not the case. What's going to happen now is when you're connected to an engine, uh, in each one of these tabs, whatever is relevant for that engine is what will show in here. What's not relevant will not show. So all through these, especially in your finishing, you're gonna see these. Uh, this get smaller and smaller based again on the engine that you're connected to. So in particular, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to give you an example is if these features that are opened are not available on the machine that you're connected to, these won't be in the list. It'll be a much smaller looking list. Only 
what's listed there is what you're attached to. So there's a lot more features than that. Uh, I just wanted to give you a quick glance um, at some things that you should be excited about in Command Workstation 7.0. Please go to Fiery's main website, efi.com, uh, which eventually will be fiery.com, and uh, check out the new what's new in Command Workstation 7.0. All right, there you go, guys. Thanks. Have a great one.